Hello. What's happening, guys? I'm in the studio, but I'm gonna show you something new. And it's not a song. Some of you guys know that there's a song on the way, don't you? Wow, I'm shiny today. What's up with that? Very shiny. It's just, just lotion, just moisturizer. I wanted to show you something on the website today, my friends. So in case you haven't seen the site, we have a new shop link with this cool stuff. Brand new for ya. I wanted to show you this stuff because um, the uh, we we worked pretty we worked hard on this. Um, I mean, you know, we we I feel like I always try and give you guys some good items in the store, but um, I'm proud of this one. We did we did some you know we put in some extra put some extra love into this. Um, couple personal favorites. This Anorak jacket is dope. Um, again, like you guys know, I I. Um, I check all the fits myself. I, you know, bring them home and wear them and make sure that I like, you know, like the fit. Um, we did a more, a little more standard fit for these. Like at one point we were doing a little more slim fit, but decided to go with a more standard fit for these. So I just think it'll be more flattering for a lot of you guys. Cool little clamshell um, Shinoda on the on the bottom of it, and uh, it's a windbreaker. Um, half zip got the uh, this one this pullover um, I think we went with the heavy weight on this one so it's a really nice thick sweatshirt um, logos on the sleeves um, got the uh, actually had the logos the logos weren't from me or Frank on this time it's a gentleman named QP from uh, um, MSK crew out of um, Japan, and he did a dope logo for me. I really appreciate that. Shout out to QP. Um, got this Demons crew neck. It's on a it's on a washed black. It looks a little slim here because that's how they shoot the photos, but um, it's a standard fit. Like you can tell from the front, like it's a standard fit uh, uh, sweatshirt. Um, and it's like a charcoal gray. Pigment dyed. Uh, got your basic signature tee. You know what's up with that. Which I I we had a little back and forth in the in the internally about this one. It was like um, one of the folks on management was like, "Man, I don't know if I'd be wearing just a, your signature and so on." And other people said it's it was their favorite. So you guys will be the ones who decide. I will tell you that in our first few minutes of the store being open it was one of the top sellers so whoever said that they liked that one wasn't wrong in terms of what other people like uh cast out tea this one's a, a favorite of mine i like this one uh frank art on the front and back frank photo frank frank uh he does like <coughs> he does these like um uh kind of like wheat paste like how you like put like posters up on the wall, um, like uh, uh, promotional posters, movie posters, and album posters and stuff, and then tears them off. And that's how he did a lot of this artwork. Um, some of it was in like sketchbook, though, a little bit smaller format. Um, and you guys have seen this one, a favorite image. That's the front, that's the back of that one. The doodle hat, sketch hat. This is an exclusive doodle just for this hat. At this point, I might put it on something else later, but only if that other thing is really dope. Um, these were fun. Pencils, graphite pencils, colored pencils. Get your get your drawing on. 
So that's the, that's the stuff. That's the first drop. I hope you guys like it. Head over to MikeShinoda.com. Jump into the the shop to check some of this stuff out. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys wearing some of this stuff at the shows and so on. I'm back, shiny as ever. Um, and I got a bunch of press to do today. Um, looking forward to talking to some people about things. I was concerned at one point that um, doing a bunch of interviews was going to be tough. Um, just because a lot of people are going to be wanting to talk about the obvious. But uh, number one, people have been generally pretty, um, pretty respectful. And number two, um, they've been... It's been, it's been more like, um, almost like uplifting or more, more like positive than I thought it would be. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's like, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people are like, you know, either relating to it or relating to what happened because they had other stuff happen, you know, similar stuff happen in their own lives or they are, um, you know, um, understand the fan base to some degree and understand that this is just part of the, the journey and the process to get to the next place. And, and hopefully that a lot of that progress happens in the context of the album. Like I think from beginning to end post-traumatic is, is a, you know, an album that, um, takes a journey out of the dark stuff so that it's not, it doesn't just, you know, I know the first few tracks were really dark and that's where I was at that point. And then as I've gone along, um, you know, other, other songs, if, if I feel differently from day to day, the other songs, you know, represent that. So, uh, yeah, before I go, who do we have in the house today? Shout us out, shout me out, say hello. Tell me what you, what do you want to, what do you want to know? What do you want to... <laughs> We've got 95 people who want to be in the video. Should we look at who's who wants to be who wants to share the screen? Come on. Okay. Who's wanting to share the screen? Let's look. Jesus, you guys, there's so many of you. Um who should we The homie Frank is on or was on. The homie Zach, what's up? Boy, what's up? Um, cool. These people, wait, can I put you in the video? I might be able to get Frank on. Let's see if, let's see if Frank will jump on. And then you can talk to Talk to Frank. Yo, Frank. At the gym. You're at the gym? Yeah. Aren't you swole enough? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Maddox, co co conspirator. I was showing you guys, I was showing the fans the um the uh new merchandise. It looks great, man. Thanks, man. So, um, the uh, we got the funny thing about it is to me is that we're getting some. Um, I told the I told them that we are getting some feedback on the the hot items in the first yeah. you know however many minutes the store has been up, and one of them is just the signature tea. I love that. <laughs> it's it's cool. We, you know we had that we had like an internal like like conversation about it being too boring. Yeah, it's more it's like, like oh, we have all this dope art and all these, you know, a bunch of the piece, a bunch of the, the items in the store have really dope art. And then there's the obvious, most obvious one with just like a signature on it. I like it. like a piece of art, you know? Well, it's like, it's like, I mean, that's standard. I think anything with a logo on it is like a, always a favorite. Yeah. And also it's kind of like a minute of calm amongst all the chaos that we have going on. You know? <laughs> yeah. The controlled chaos. Yeah. Yeah, man. I love it. Cool. Well, say hi to the fans. Hi, guys. Thanks for your support. That's Frank. I'll let you get back to your workout, dude. All right, bud. Good to talk to you.
You too. Have a good, have a good day. You too. That was Frank. Frank helped. I should say Frank was like, he was like a more than helped create a bunch of this stuff. So yeah, so this is the new, new, new merchandise drop in the store. Um, some cool, got an anorak, got a couple of cool sweatshirts, a hoodie, crew neck, shirts, hat, a couple pencils. Um, go check that out at MikeShinoda.com. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to uh, working on this, this music, you know, just wrapping it up right now, getting getting stuff finished. Maybe I'll. Do you guys want to hear a little a little sneak peek real quick? We got a song coming out real soon. Um, I can't tell you when, but I might give you a taste. Do you want a taste of it? You like that? You good? Bye, guys. This is a gather around it. Wonder where I found it. This is.